Oh, that was a... That was a really weird... Dream. Oh, man. Is that dream real? I mean... Spider? Um, same spider? Ah. Uh, Mythwood disappearing? No. Mythwood... This would have to be there. I. It, it can't be gone. This, this would. Uh, anyway, I should get out. Oh, um. Hey, you Lily. Good morning, Grithon. Yeah, good morning. So, did you hear about the new merchants that moved in? No, I don't think I have. Well. Last night, two merchants arrived and set up a little tent nearby. It's the black and purple one. Really? Yeah, I'm actually surprised that they managed to get permission to start selling things so quickly. I mean, for citizens it's fine, but for outsiders it usually takes a while. Well, then how am I allowed to start a mine when I was... Like, how am I allowed to start a mine, and why was I released from prison so quickly? I'm not sure. The king has been letting his guard down too much. Well, it's got Magnus ticked right now. He felt like the king wasn't doing his job by allowing these merchants to sell things. That's weird. Magnus was the one who trusted me when I was in jail. That's kind of the reason I'm out here. I also noticed how strange it was for Magnus to let you out so easily and you could be a demon for all we know, yet somehow he thinks that letting merchants in is a breach of security. Lily, you can trust me. I know. As a priestess of Rhea, the goddess of light, I can tell if s the goddess of sight, I can tell if someone's a human or something else. However, just stay away from those merchants for now, and meet me in my fortress tonight. It's the one on the mountain with the ladder going up. Wait a second, you live up there? <laughs> yeah, being uh, being blessed by a goddess certainly gives you a few privileges. Might want to bring a jacket though, it's a little chilly. Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> well, I'll see you up there. I just need to talk to you about a few things in private. And please stay away from those merchants. Yeah, I will do. Uh, I guess that's the tent over there. Well, anyway, I've got a mine to work on. Um, anything in here? Uh, no, I, I start. This. You know what? Boom. Let's just. Make some more charcoal there. Uh, let's, let's turn this into wood planks. Um, at some point, I need to expand my house and maybe just like set up a trash can or something because I don't need this dirt. And uh, let's see, got some bread, water, torches. Got a sword, just in case. Uh, wait, where is my pickaxe? <gasps> oh, it's those stupid merchants. They take my pickaxe. Ah, uh, cannot believe. Leave this. I don't. I don't know. Someone, someone keeps trying to steal from me. I don't know. Well, I suppose the stone one is gonna have to do. <sighs> really? Who is taking my stuff? Hey, um. Hey, Casey, guard. Uh. Someone took- someone stole my pickaxe. Really? Can't believe that all happened. 
Uh, well, it it did. I mean, are are you gonna are you gonna do anything? My dream is to build my own village, but I'm so lazy. Yeah, you you are pretty lazy. You're not gonna do anything about my missing pickaxe. Haha, <laughs> serves that skelly right. Huh. Calling yourself a skeleton? <laughs> I mean, I suppose you are kind of flimsy. And yeah, really. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I do. There's a lot of horses out here. It's kind of nice. So, her home is over there. Oh, that's really nice. Well. Ah, oh, that's... There's some coal there. Why am I making that charcoal? I can get coal pretty easily. So, we need, like, stone and stuff. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess tonight I should head over, should make sure to head over to the... Um, yeah, to her little place. Man. Man, she's a priestess. I didn't know that. She's got, like... I mean, that, that fortress is really awesome. I, I cannot believe she gets to live there. That is just amazing. Oh, well, I've been mining for a while, and it is starting to get a little chilly up here. Uh, kind of away from the sun. I should just head out, honestly. Just head out, warm up. Oh. Well, that feels nice. Let's see, we got quite a bit of stuff. Um, I should go check in with the king again uh, as to what I needed. I hope I don't run into any of those uh, those merchants. Yeah, that would, that would not be good. Alright, let's see here. Let's climb. Ah, uh, your majesty, what was it you needed again? Uh, 64 gravel, 64 cobblestone, and 16 clay. Okay. I will get that. Let's see. Got 64 cobblestone I need. 64 gravel and... 64 clay. Oh yeah. Just gotta stay away from that tent. Actually, I might be able to find something up in that cave. There's some lava though. So I'll probably need to be a little careful. Whoa. What's this? This is pretty cool. What's this? Huh. I wonder if I could find something down here. I might, um, let's see. Iron. Totally use this iron. Ooh. Yeah, that's gotta be careful here. Um, is there anything? No. Nothing over here. Um, let's see, any. Careful, not to accidentally fall or something. 
something. I'm seeing a lot of coal and salt, but uh, nothing else that's valuable. What is this? This is cool. This is a neat little. Ah, well, there it goes. I'll have to I'll have to get that later. Well, anyway, I could probably just come back here. This is over here. That's really close. Hey, um, excuse me. Uh, what do you think of the tent nearby? Dream is to build my own village, but I'm so lazy. <laughs> well, I see you can prevent them from getting in. Alright. Here's my house. Okay. So, let's just stick everything I... Uh, I, I I'm going to be taking this. Um, anything I don't need will just stick in here. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna just grab this because uh, she recommended I wear this when I head up there. Alright. Okay. So ladder was over there. Alright. Wow, it is so nice at night. Can't really describe how nice it is, but um. Okay. Whoa. I need to watch my step. I, I could fall. But that would not be good. Okay. I just need to get up there. I don't sure hope I don't look suspicious carrying a torch walking around here. Oh, I almost a few centuries fell down there as well. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. Oh. I really need to watch my step. There's the, the ladder. Oh, this is this is gonna suck. Oh, I I don't like heights. Oh, oh man, and oh, I sure hope that there's no ice up there. Oh. Oh, this is, oh, this is gonna suck. Just, I just can't look down. Oh, this is pretty steep. Oh, I don't like this. This is way, way too tall. Are we up there already? Oh, no. Oh, no. Chillier. Getting colder. Oh, just, I, I better not slip because that is a that's a long way down. Oh, okay. I think I, I should be almost up there. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, that is that is. Where she lives? Oh, that is. This is really nice of here, actually. Actually, I should just take a look around. Oh, I've got northern lights. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow. That is quite scenery. 
Oh. Wow. That is just pure magic right there. Oh. Okay. Uh, ah, time to. Alright. Let's just come here for the reason you're here. Um. Ah, hey, Lily, I'm, uh, here. How are you? Hi, Grathon. Hope you made it up here okay. Sometimes the ladder can be a little slippery. Trust me, you have no idea. Kinda scared of heights. Yeah, don't blame you for freaking out. So, up on this mountain, there's a small ice town and an ancient dragon nest. The ice town is run by monks, and the dragon nest is a sacred place where a great frost dragon once acted as a way for humans to communicate to the goddess Rhea. Basically, this mountain was once the bridge between the mortal realm and the divine realm. The bridge? Yes. Great kings would fly on the back of the frost dragon into the sky and eventually reach the divine realm, known as Hela the realm of the gods. So what happened to the dragon? No one really knows what happened. One day the dragon flew into the sky and never came back. Some say that Rey is angry at us and called the dragon away to remove any way to directly communicate. Others say that a great evil killed the dragon so we can no longer ask the gods for help. And still more say that the gods don't exist and that the dragon died of natural causes. What do you believe? As Rhea's priestess, I've thought long and hard about this. I certainly don't believe the last one, unlike someone in this village. Could a great evil kill the dragon? Possibly. Although our village has done just fine, so it's not like that really did much. Is Rhea angry at us? No, we haven't done anything to anger her. I believe that the dragon was no longer lead it, needed. Shortly after he left, certain individuals were born with the power to see into the divine realm. These people became priests and priestesses of Rhea, and they live in this fortress while the village lord lived with his people. By separating authorities, the king can focus on military strength, while the priests and priestesses can provide warnings and advice from the gods. So, Lily, what did you need me here for? I recognized one of the merchants. The one in the dark robe, his name is Luke. Now, he's not a demon, but he is not to be trusted. You have no idea how much suffering he brought on Sarah. I was 10 at the time, so I didn't fully know what was happening. Sarah was 16, so I trusted that she knew what she was doing and who she could trust. Well, she didn't. And because of what he did to her, she killed herself. Rhea had given me warnings not to trust Luke, but Sarah didn't believe in Rhea, and now she and our parents are gone. I'm just lucky I was able to find this village. I'm sorry, although... Sarah's alive. No, she's dead. I felt her presence, but I knew that she would, that, that was her soul in the underworld, being given a chance to come back to life. Shortly after you arrived, I felt her fade away. Her chance is gone, and she's lost forever. I'm sorry. It's fine. Although, Luke being here is really concerning me. I'm going to tell the king my case, and if that man is not gone immediately, then I'll have to remove him myself. I need to know if you will help me in this, and that you will not tell anyone what I said here. I'll keep your secret, but I need more information first. Understandable. Just be careful around Luke, okay? Yeah, I... I will.